Jet Edge uses hydraulic accumulators to reduce shock in the hydraulic system, resulting in a better performing hydraulic and ultra high pressure water circuit. The accumulators should be checked monthly. If the pressure that is read is off by more than 10% of what the charge pressure is supposed to be, the accumulator should be charged. The pressure in the accumulator will vary depending on the pump model and where it is used in the circuit. The main pressure accumulator will be charged to 1,750 PSI. The return accumulator, if equipped, is 30 PSI and the ramping accumulator will be charged to 750 PSI. Tools needed are the accumulator charging kit part number 28599 and an adjustable wrench. The charging kit includes a 3000 PSI 200 bar high pressure gauge and a 600 PSI 40 bar low pressure gauge. Depending on the accumulator to be checked, select the proper gauge. Verify the needle actuator is turned fully counterclockwise and the bleed valve is fully clockwise. Remove the accumulator valve cover cap and the valve stem cap. Thread the needle actuator assembly onto the valve stem of the accumulator. Using an adjustable wrench, tighten the gauge to the accumulator. Turn the needle actuator on the gauge assembly slowly clockwise. Observe the pressure reading. This accumulator is at an acceptable level and can be put back into service. For accumulators that are low, you will need a tank of dry nitrogen that is charged to at least 1,800 PSI. Remove port covers to access hose connection. Install the adapter hose between the gauge head assembly and the nitrogen supply bottle. Slowly open the valve on the nitrogen supply while observing the gauge reading. When the reading is proper, turn the valve off and check the gauge reading. Repeat this step if still inadequate. When pressure is within the specified limits, verify the valve on the nitrogen supply bottle is closed. Turn the needle actuator fully counterclockwise. Turn the bleed valve slowly clockwise to relieve any line pressure. Remove the charging hose from the gauge assembly and the nitrogen supply bottle. Using an adjustable wrench, remove gauge assembly from the accumulator. Reinstall the valve stem cap 
and the cover cap on the accumulator. The machine is ready to be put back into service. Checking the accumulators monthly will result in longer lasting components as well as a better performing machine.